See, there's Jared next to the guy talking. Right there in the middle. That's Jared. That's my rep who said that he would sign on to an abolition bill. He, and he knew the bill would be to make women criminals if they murder their baby. And he said, absolutely, I will sign on to that. As soon as he gets elected, as soon as he sits in his seat, he's like, no, I will not do it. It's so easy for these men to stand up to support Child Abuse Prevention Month. It takes no character, no substance. Even a wicked man could do that. In fact, that's, that's mostly what's down there is wicked men. Because the Bible says, Woe to you who write iniquitous decrees. And that's what these men are doing with child sacrifice in the land. They're writing wicked decrees, wicked laws. So brave of them. Has anybody done this before? Mm -hmm. Been here? Have you been to one of these before? Yeah. Can you yell out? What? Do they give you a warning? Yeah! I think that's us. <laughs> he saw me too. I looked at him like, good job, Jared. He's my rep. He, he said that he would sign on, co sponsor Tony Timberhold's bill. And then he gets elected and says he won't do it. He said, absolutely. I got him on text. He texted the whole thing. So, and I'm mad. You know? Like, I voted. I told people to vote for him. You know? Now, now he's going to sit down there and see me as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> 